Hi everyone, this is a review I'm really sort of quite excited about. Um, this is a notebook that I received from Bookbinders Design here in Australia, here in Melbourne actually. This is one of their signature notebooks uh, and it's one that, uh, it's a book I really, really, really love. Um, there's a lot going for this notebook, so I really want to, let's have a look at it. I'll show you some of the, the features and uh, we'll have a look at the paper and stuff like that. So, just on the external, you can see this has been uh, in embossed there with the offstage me which is my like social media handle uh, which is a really cool feature and uh it's really well done like it's beautiful like embossing and you know work love it this is um the large notebook um which is um sort of a not a standard size um it measures uh 21 centimeters by 24 centimeters just to put that into context actually here is an a5 notebook this is the rodeo web notebook uh, you can see considerably bigger um, and i'm not sure if this will fit but um, this is a b5 notebook so you can see it's shorter than the b5 but wider than the b5 so um beautiful cloth cover this is light gray uh, and it's not it's like very very well attached to this beautiful hard cover um, nice sharp corners uh, you know, decent overhang, not too big, but enough to protect the paper, um, you know, and to protect the corners. Lovely cloth binding, beautifully sort of, uh, you know, done. It's really, like, this is a very, very high quality notebook. So as I said, this is the signature notebook from Bookbinders uh, Design here in Australia. Um, it is, Bookbinders have is a retailer that sells, you know, a range of fountain pens and notebooks and diaries and all those sorts of things from a, a range of different brands. But their signature notebook is like a sort of, it's, it's based around a Swedish concept. Um, and I think it is just absolutely beautiful. In fact, the paper is Swedish as well. Like there's like a little, you know, there's logo there on the back, but it's very minimalist. Um, you know, your own like embossing on the front there, their logo, and then that's it. Like there's no, like, there's nothing on the inside. It's, it's just clean and clear and very, very nice. Um, <clears throat> so as I said, lovely hardcover, like rock solid hardcover, um, well finished. If we look here at the, uh, open, open up the book. It's got a good quality sort of like heavyweight paper um, end pages, uh, which are beautifully secured down and that's front and back, uh, and you know, beautifully unadorned, which I actually really, really enjoy. So here I have done um, some paper tests of this notebook, uh, and also written a range of the features, but let's look at this page first. So I've written here with a number of different inks, pencils and things like that. So like, let's run down what I've actually got here. So a 2B pencil, which erased fairly well. Um, that's with very little effort. Like you could, if I rubbed harder, it would come off. Um, a Faber-Castell ballpoint pen, a highlighter, Pilot G2, Uniball, Jetstream, a Zebra Sarasa, Pentel Energel, Muji gel pen, a Pilot Friction, which erases nicely, although it does still leave an indent, but that is typical on a lot of paper. Um, Retro 51 Rollerball, a Yuka's Felt Tip 1mm with Diamine Oxford Blues, that is a felt tip pen that uses fountain pen ink. An Artline 0.8 uh, pigment marker, which is on their drawing pens. A Sharpie marker, like just to test it out. Then we get some fountain pens. Um, so I used a Jinhao 992 Fine with Noodler's Base Day Blue. This for me is one of those bad boy inks that will just like eat through anything. So I test a lot of notebooks with it. Um, a Faber-Castell Neo Slim Fine with a Faber-Castell Königsblauer Blue cartridge. Uh, Diplomat Excellence with Detrimentous Mouse Grey. A, a medium Lamy 2000, which is a wet and quite like broad medium uh, with Lamy Petrol. Platinum Century Broad, uh, 3776 Broad, um, with Diamine Oxford Blue, and then a Franklin Christoph 31 with Monteverde Rose Noir. What I've also done is used a Kohenor watercolour paint, and then done an ink wash with Robert Oster Fire and Ice. Now, a couple of things to note on the front of this. Nothing feathers. Like, it's very, very clean. Um... The only place we get any note of the fact that uh, 
This is not a coated paper. It's not a coated paper. It's not rough, but it's got a nice, a nice level of tooth on it. Um, is with the Diplomat Excellence, where the um, the detrimentous mouse grey there you just get a little bit of spread, but that is a, a fairly wet ink. Um, and the only other thing you notice is with the ink wash is that it has absorbed the ink into the paper, so the wash does leave behind quite a decent sort of remnant of where that line was put down. But everything else performs well. Everything else looks nice. Uh, and then if we flip the page over, we see that uh, like the only thing that has come through is the Sharpie marker and the base day blue, which is totally expected. Everything else, including the ink wash and the watercolour, have remained pretty, pretty good there. Like it's it's performed really, really well, I've got to say. I'll do a live writing sample in a second. I just wanted to go through some of the features first. So I said bookbinders design in Australia. This is the signature notebook, notebook large in light gray. The paper is 100 GSM Swedish, and I'm going to probably going to say this wrong, but Munken paper, which is archival and incredibly versatile. Like this is a book that is designed for writing. Fountain pens were not, it's like it's 100% aimed design. It is clearly fountain pen friendly, but it is designed to be versatile. So for all writing instruments, and even as you can see, like some, uh, you know, watercolor and things like that. Okay. Um, it's cloth bound, hardcover with high quality binding. Um, as you can see, we've got like, signatures sewn uh, and then glued and then cloth bound and it's a beautiful like very simple but very nice um i'm not sure how well it's coming up but uh way of binding the book and very very strong these books are, cus are customizable with embossing so you can choose the font and the color and there are different levels you can do like initials uh or a couple of words like a little small amount of writing or even things like a logo uh, and they all come at an extra cost and the costs vary depending on what you're getting. The books come in a variety of color, uh, color covers. So, so this is the light gray, which is beautiful, um, but it also there's a range of grays, uh, as well as yellows, reds, greens, blues, and there's even a very nice dusty uh, pink color as well. Um, the books come in blank or lined, line ruled, which uh, is what this is, um, and some colors have dot options, but they are more limited. 96 pages, uh, 96 sheets, sorry, 192 pages, and um, a nice ribbon marker uh, here, which is a sort of pretty good length, uh, and, you know, you'd expect that on a book uh, like this, and uh, it's nice. A little bit now about the paper. As I said, it's Swedish Munken paper. I'm probably saying that wrong, and I'm very sorry. I said it's 100 GSM. It's acid-free, chlorine-free. It's FSC certified, which is the uh, means that it's like responsibly grown and sourced, which is very, very good. Um, and it's age resistant. So this is a book that is designed to be kept. It is a book to do, that's designed to be, you know, loved. And, um, you know, is, is the sort of thing that if you were writing a journal or, you know, would be able to be handed down, it's beautiful quality uh, and just, yeah, well made, looks great, all that stuff. Let's talk the size. There are three different sizes you can get for... Um, these books. As I said, they're unique sizes. Um, this is the large, which I said was like 21 by 24 centimetres. I showed the comparisons before, uh, you know, to the A5 and the B5. They also have an A4 version um, and then a, what they call the regular version, uh, which uh, measures at 17 by 20 centimetres, so 17 by 20, which is a, a nice sort of size as well. We have to talk price at some point. So they are a premium product. You are paying more. They are a unique product. They are not like in every bookshop like Rodeo or Leuchtturm. Um, this particular book, this large one, retails for $54.50 Australian, which is around the $40 US dollar mark, um, which is probably pushing it for some people. Uh, and particularly coming from, you know, Melbourne and Australia. There are other places you can get these books as well. I will say that. Like, if you look online for bookbinders, you know, similar sorts of books to this. Um, the regular costs 43 and the A4 costs 59.50. So 
they are on the pricier end um, and the embossing is extra and can make this quite an expensive book but you are getting something like the embossing is a service that you are getting for a un for a, a unique purpose and it's sorts of product in itself i want to talk some pros and cons now um the cons are that it is a limited product in terms of that like you do get it from bookbinders uh, you can't just get it from every any bookshop that sort of stuff so you've got to go to a specific store to get this and that may mean that if you're shipping buying from international places um that you may be paying a little bit more postage they are not cheap I, i've written here expensive but they're not real i wouldn't say they're expensive i would say that they cost in comparison to other notebooks they do cost a lot but they are a very high quality product um another issue is that uh what i found like i've been using this book for like a, a couple of weeks uh i've not used it a lot uh, but one thing I have noticed is that like the ability for it to lay flat, you, like it's not just open up and lay flat. Like you can get it to lay flat. You can hear that sort of crunch on the spine um, and it sits relatively flat. Uh, but with this sort of binding, this so you've got individual signatures sewn and then glued and then put against a hard cover. So finding a notebook that lays flat like that um, is not super common. Um, also, like, not a big issue, but they these are not standard sizes. So if you wanted to put it into a cover, you are not going to be able to just get a cover from, you know, one of the leather makers or, um, you know, retailers around the place. This is a unique size, but it is a beautifully made book. So with a good quality hard cover, so you don't necessarily, you might not need an extra cover. Pros for this are, there's a lot, like, Excellent design and build quality, like really, really great. Super quality binding, like rock, rock solid binding. Good versatile paper, like I'll just do that live writing sample here. Like I've got just a, a retro 51 uh, fountain pen here. Um, this is a tornado fountain pen. Uh, it's a medium, and the ink is diamine terracotta. Like, I'm purposely now putting down, like, a lot of ink on this spot, like, we'll see in a second. But, like, the ink dries, like, it's got a, it's not super absorbent paper, but the ink dries fairly, like, True, like in similar sort of time to say a rhodia, um, you can see that it uh, like picks up the color nicely and the shading uh, is apparent. Like you can definitely see shading through that writing. And uh, if we look at the reverse, like I did put down quite a lot of ink there. And while there is a little bit of show through on the paper, I would definitely not say that there's um bleed at all. Like it's it performs well. Like it's good versatile paper for a number of uses. Um, the other thing I love about this is that it would be it is a great keepsake journal like archival paper and all of that you would never like if you this book would last forever it would be you know if you wrote in these journals and put them on a bookshelf they will be around for your grandkids like and your great grandkids it's gonna last the other thing about this book uh, which is a big pro is because of the quality of the binding and the covers and you know the embossing features and things like that and like with the embossing, the price does jump up. You know, it becomes, this book becomes quite quite a, you know, a, a high-end item. Um, because of that, it would make a great gift option. Uh, if you wanted to get a special notebook for someone, uh, if you wanted to get, uh, you know, like, a, a, you know, a, like a nice gift, like corporate gift or something like that, um, the embossing makes it personal. You, so you're getting a great quality notebook, but something that's personal as well, which is really nice. So all things to think about, and definitely pros in my opinion with a book like this. So I really like it. I think it's got nice quality paper. It's nice white paper. Um, it's, you know, like just very quickly, just to show the, you know, there's the white. 
I should have shown this earlier. This is the inside of the Rodeo web notebook, which is an ivory paper. So you can see it's it's white, like it is white, white paper. And the line, uh, you know, is a light sort of blue gray. It's not intrusive. It's nice. It's really just a really, like really good quality notebook, uh, journal. It's not a, you know, this is a, this is a real quality item. Um, and it's designed to be that, and they've done an amazing job. So Bookbinders Design Australia's uh, signature notebook in the large size, uh, this is the light gray, cloth bound, lovely cover, lovely you know, paper, a nice premium product. Hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is listed down below. Um, if there are products you think I should be looking at or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel, please get in touch. I'd love to hear from you and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, Enjoy your pens, enjoy your writing and your notebooks, and I'll talk to you soon.